Hello everybody! Welcome back to another great episode. We are here today at Animal Kingdom. Yay! And we had to call an audible. This is a great example of what you do at Disney World when things don't go as planned. We actually, it's her birthday. It well, is. slash birthday week. It's not yes. actually her birthday today. <laughs> it's her birthday in two days. Well, we started celebrating early. We tried to go to Splitsville. We were going to go to Splitsville and do a little bit yeah. of bowling, a little bit of pool play, have a lot of fun. And they were having a special event there. Special events are not posted on their website. You have no idea when they have special events. Yeah. So we were like, now what? Well, guess what? You do what you do, what you do when you do Disney vacations. You call an audible, you adjust, you make changes, mm -hmm. no big deal. That's what we did. So we're here at Animal Kingdom and we have a reservation now at Tusker House. So we're gonna eat Tusker House for yeah. dinner. So I'm excited. We're gonna actually jump on Avatar if we can. Said it was yeah. only a 45 minute wait. Let's find out if it was. Well, let's just have a great night at Animal Kingdom, grab some awesome so food excited. at Tusker House. Yeah. Stay tuned, it should be fun. All right, here we are. We are in line for Avatar. Light of passage. I love this. I don't know what's happening with the lighting right here. I feel like we're in like a scary movie. We're like, <laughs> we're about to walk. Then we're gonna walk. The light's probably gonna change. Oh wow, this is. Yeah, that's not good. Wow, I can't even see anything. Hey, all right, we found some light. Woohoo! Barely. Barely, but we found some light. So again, so how did we end up at Animal Kingdom? <laughs> it's a little bit of a journey, but again, I feel like this is a good example of like, like we said in the intro, you need to make lemon out, lemons out of lemonades. You need to have sort of a yeah. baseline plan for what you're wanting to do at Disney. <laughs> but when things go wrong, just go with it. You just have to go with it. You'll still enjoy your, your time with it. So I think that's a good tip for anybody who's interested in heading to Disney. Things will not always go right. So again, we were supposed to be going to Splitsville. We thought for sure, we're like, it's been pretty easy for us to get in there lately. Just kind of go in, get, you know, maybe wait an hour to go bowling. We went in there today. <laughs> Special private event. Not posted on their website. No yeah. information whatsoever about it. The only way to know that there was a special event was to call them. And no offense, but anytime we call anywhere now that COVID has happened, no one answers the phone. No one answers the phone. No so we don't even try to call people anymore. And they don't have their special events listed on their website. So there was no way for us to really know there's a special event. So when we went in there, they said three to four hours minimum yeah. to get a bowling alley, a bowling lane, or to even play pool. Because the entire, we couldn't even, actually we couldn't play pool at all because the entire upper floor yeah. where the pool tables are was shut down. So we had no option. We were like, oh, I guess we're going somewhere else. Yeah. And then we were looking to decide, like, is there any restaurants in Disney Springs that have availability? None. No restaurants. So then we said, where do we have a reservation? We have a reservation in the Magic Kingdom. We looked at Magic Kingdom. Is there anywhere to eat at Magic Kingdom? Nowhere. None. So we thought, okay, maybe we can change our reservation. So we looked. Animal Kingdom was available. We looked to see what restaurants at Animal Kingdom might have availability. We looked. Tusker House. Tusker House actually had availability for dinner at 8.15. Yeah. And we thought, I've not been to Tusker House lately. Let's do Tusker House. So I, actually, we've never been to Tusker House, ever. So we changed our reservation, headed over to Animal Kingdom, <laughs> and we have a reservation at Tusker House at 8.15. And then we got here, and we figured, let's just do Animal Kingdom. Let's hang out. And so we're in line for Avatar, Flight of Passage. Only a 45 minute wait. I think it's going to end up being like maybe a 35 minute wait, 30, yeah. 35 minute wait. Um, and then maybe we'll do a few more things and then we're going to eat at Tusker House. So like I said, you just, you just go with the flow with Disney. Things will go wrong. You, if you, if you just accept that fact, you will enjoy your vacation so much more. Okay. Start scan. Start scan. Uh, you've all got 
got them. COVID. <laughs> but don't worry. Uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stand still over your number. You're not going to feel a thing. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already on the back of the Necron. Let's see how this works. <laughs> I think we're gonna head to Navi River Ride. It is only a 20 minute wait. Wow, I don't even think this is gonna be a 20 minute wait, honestly. I feel like this is gonna be like a five or 10 minute wait. Here we are, we made it to the Navi River Ride. I am super pumped about it because we, have, we haven't ridden this for a while. It's been a while. Because for some odd reason, it's been like a 90 minute wait for <laughs> Navi River Adventure, um, River Ride. Is it Navi River Ride, Navi River Adventure? I don't know. Whatever, Navi, Navi River Navi. ride, um, and it's been like a ninety-minute wait. What? Why? It's like it's a small world after all, literally. For ninety minutes, I don't, I don't, and, sure. and I got nothing. So I'm excited to ride it because, um, again, we weren't supposed to be here, and for some reason, I, it like okay, it literally was supposed to rain today. Okay, let's just say it was supposed to rain today. This is why you don't look at the weather when you come to Disney. You, you, you can't pay attention to the weather. It makes no sense. It might say that it's going to rain, and maybe it will rain, but you can't worry about it. I see people posting online all the time about, oh my gosh, it's supposed to rain the whole time we're there. Should we reschedule our vacation? I'm like, the answer to that is always no. Absolutely not. It's actually better. Like, it's sprinkled. Okay, it monsooned, but basically I say sprinkled for 15 minutes and it has not rained the entire day or night today. And everybody went home. So there's literally nobody here. Like, we waited 35 minutes for Flight of Passage and we're now waiting 5 to 10 minutes for Navi, Navi, Navi River. And I mean, it's, and it's been consistently, and I will say this honestly, it has been consistently a 90 to 120 minute wait for those two rides. Oh yeah. And we're we rode one for 35 minutes and we rode the next one for 5 or 10 minutes just because it rained a little bit. And it's it's dry as a bone. We didn't get wet. No big deal. Nope. Good to go. So I I mean if if there's any key takeaway to this is don't pay attention to the weather. Really don't. Just don't. Come here, enjoy it. Bring a poncho. Yeah. Just in case it rains, bring a poncho. Don't buy the Disney ponchos unless you have no choice because they're expensive and they're not that great. They rip and like I, and they're cute. They're cute. They have like the little Disney stuff. You can get better ponchos for much cheaper. Um, and by the way, we always buy the Disney ponchos so we don't even eat our own dog food. Literally. Like literally, we should never buy Disney ponchos and we always do. I don't know why. But you really shouldn't. 
So, so don't do what we do. What a cute ride. I love Navi I love River Ride. I, I mean, the it. first time I rode it, I was kind of like, Yeah, he eh. was. <laughs> I always liked it. You know, but I mean, because it was like a long wait, and it was like, can you compare that to Flight of Passage? Yeah. Verse, and it's just not even remotely, but... I do think it's a cute ride. It's, it's just not really. It's not. Ride. I just don't personally believe it's worth more than a fifteen to thirty minute wait. Yeah, it's just not. I agree. But other than that, I love the ride. I think it's super cute because yeah. it kind of like it starts to get going with the animatronic there. Yeah. Just when it starts to get more interesting and more, uh, you know, like cool. Yeah. It's over. You're yeah. like, uh, like I feel like it needs to be it's twice true. as long it's as it true. is. I love the music though. It's beautiful. The entire ride is beautiful. Yeah, the, the music, it's beautiful. It's like relaxing. Yeah. It's serene. I it love is. it. So, all right, let's head to Tusker House. It's time for dinner. I'm excited. Tusker House Restaurant. Let's head on in. Okay, we just, I don't know why I said okay while I was looking at you, but okay, we just sat down. And, and I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so pumped because. I did not know. Literally right when we sat down, um, Daisy was, Daisy yeah. Duck was walking by and, and I was like, oh, I was like, this is a character dining. Yeah, like, I had what? no idea. We no really idea. did no investigation whatsoever into what this was. No. I feel like we've known, I feel like we knew this at one point in our Maybe, lives, and then I but have forgot. since forgotten. Yeah. So like we're kind of getting like a Chef Mickey vibe a little bit, and I and I'm sh I have a feeling I wonder if this was like a buffet before Back COVID, but it's family style now. So like they bring you the food instead of you going to get the food. But I'm like super excited because I wasn't expecting to get any characters. No. So we get Daisy and Donald yeah. and Mickey and Goofy, was it? Mickey and Mickey, I think. Mickey, I don't Maybe know. Maybe it was Mickey. But a I bunch of different characters. So I'm yeah. so excited. I wasn't expecting that. I definitely Yay. We already saw Daisy. She came by and I did yeah. a little video of it. She had her little safari outfit on. She was so cute. Yes. And basically, the waitress came by and we're just getting a bunch of food. Like, we don't even, I don't even know what yeah. we're getting. We're just getting a bunch of stuff. She's going to bring us, like, tons of family-style food. Yeah. And there's only two of us, so... I have no idea, and then, and then I, I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna like, normally what would probably happen is you dig in and you're like, ooh, I like this, I don't like yeah. this, I like this, I don't like this, bring me more of that, the thing that I like. Yeah. We're probably just gonna eat and then be like, I'm cool, like I'm done. Like we're gonna be so full that we yeah. won't ask for more of what we like. We'll, see. we'll probably like everything. Yeah, you get bread, yeah. salad, different meats, different yeah. sides, desserts. Plus, we ordered a couple of drinks, which are extra for the for the drinks, the cocktails. Yeah, but we literally had no idea what this was. We just like yeah, it happened to be available. I'm so excited. I'm excited because I so, love so Chef Mickey. Yeah. I don't I don't personally think the food at Chef Mickey for lunch and dinner is that great. It's good though. It's okay. Yeah. I prefer Chef Mickey breakfast. But yes. again, you can't really. I feel like you can't really mess up breakfast. It's like eggs and omelets and pancakes and bacon. waffles and bacon and I mean fruits and yogurts. I mean Muffins. I love Chef Mickey breakfast because you get like you get the character interactions and the experience and then you get unlimited breakfast and it's so freaking good. It's my, it is my favorite yeah. character dining oh, yeah, of all sure. the character dinings. We've done a lot of them. 
I see Donald Duck over here. We're gonna have to get a video of him. I'm excited. They just did Hakuna Matata, and uh, Daisy and Donald came out and did a little dance. Donald was shaking his booty. He was. I didn't get it on film, though. I was sick. She got it on her little camera, yeah. but like, we didn't get it on this film. But he was like, he was like shaking his booty, like, <laughs> so cute. Anyway, but I'm kind of excited to see like, is this lunch and dinner maybe a better option? So we can do Chef Mickey for breakfast, then maybe we can do this That's for lunch or dinner. For dinner. Yeah. So we'll find out, but. Um, I'm excited. I feel like there's so much food about to show up that I'm like kind of okay, feeling bad about it, but we'll see. Um, so it's so cute here, though. Oh, and our drinks showed up. I got the Takiti Punch. I don't know if I said that right. Oh. And mine looks very similar. It looks almost the exact yeah, it looks same, the same, but mine is lost on Safari. So mine is vodka. And uh, it's vodka and watermelon lemonade. Okay, so the appetizers already showed up. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be full before we get done with the Literally. appetizers. So before I talk about the appetizers, talk about her drink. Her drink, she got lost in Safari, as she said. And it's basically, I'm going to have to read it because I forget. Like, I have a memory of, a, of like, I don't know what has a bad memory, but I have a bad memory. A slug? I don't know what has a bad memory. Whatever that has a bad memory, not a slug, but whatever. that's me. So, Lost on Safari, uh, it comes with rum, a, spi a, a rum and a spice rum, and a, pong a pangani punch. Well, kind of sounds like a rum punch. I just tasted it. It tasted like rum punch it, to me. It tasted like, like rum punch? Sip and it's very good. So, yeah. her drink was an additional um, $15. And what's yours? And mine was an additional $13. Let me try mine. Yeah. And I want to try yours and you can try mine. Yum. Those cardboard straws. I do not like cardboard straws. Oh, I can't I feel like they make the drink taste worse. Mine, it, mine tastes like, um, taste mine just tastes like lemonade. I don't even taste the watermelon, really. It tastes like pink lemonade. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yours is really good. It's sour. I don't taste any watermelon. That yeah, much. I don't either. I would agree hers tastes like rum punch. Yeah. So these and are mine really tastes good. like, mine tastes like pink lemonade. Yeah. So both of them taste delicious. Yeah. I'm so happy. I can't I can't say that enough. I had no absolutely no idea this was happening. Yeah, we just got to see Goofy. I'm so yeah. psyched. Uh okay, Brett, where were we? Bread service. Bread service. Yeah. It does remind me a little bit of what you get at the Nomad Lounge slash yeah. Tippins. I love um, Nomad Lounge. I'm just gonna hold it up really quickly because Mickey's coming. Look at that. So you get the bread and this uh, this like crispy stuff she said is made out of lentils. I forget what she called it. Sorry with a P. Yeah. And then there's a hummus, I a coriander that. chutney, and a mango chutney there's that we can put on the bread. The same, like, sauces Some of that. yeah, there was a couple more at the Nomad, but yeah. And then you get this bread. Yum. Um, so I want to try it. Yeah. And then, as if that wasn't enough, yeah. we got a salad. Da With, I don't know, some sort of tomato-y, onion, cucumber, something. She won't like that, but I will. And uh, some greens with, I don't know what's on it, but I don't even know. I, like, I'm, I'm already getting full just, looking. just from looking at it. <laughs> and we haven't even gotten our main dishes yet. And then we have desserts. We're going to have to be very careful with this. I created a little sandwich out of this. I got a little, this little like delicious bun bread thingy roll with a little bit of mango chutney. Oh my gosh, there's Mickey. Everything, everything has to stop. Okay, so Mickey just came. The whole show had to stop for Mickey. Um, but well, he's a showstopper. It's a showstopper. So I got to see Mickey. We got some pictures with him. I'm excited. Yay! Um, but anyhow, back to the... We haven't even gotten to the appetizer. Yes. 
So we're going to do that now. All right. We're going to so, stop talking and just do it. I created a little little sandwich here out of the mango chutney and the bread. Let's and try I'm it. having hummus. I want to try a little bit of this um, coriander chutney. I mean, it looks really good. I like this. I remember this from the um, Nomad Lounge. Nomad Lounge, yeah. On to the salad. And it looks delicious. Look at this. There's like a little bit of tomato, onion, cucumbers, lettuce, leaves. I don't know. It looks awesome. Oh, it's a very good vinaigrette. I love it. Mmm. It's a vinaigrette. It's delicious, don't you think? It's awesome. It's got a really, like a really good sourness to it. It's very sour. I mean, it is sharp. Very sharp sourness. And the uh, the leaves. Everything is really good. Spring mix is so good. Our food, our main entrees just showed up. And I, I gotta tell you, it's insane what just landed on our, 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 our table. It really is. Let me just tell you what we got on our plate. We got a Moroccan spiced beef. We got a split roasted herb chicken. <laughs> and a Berber marinated pork. In that same dish, there are green beans with carrots and corn. And there are roasted potatoes and jasmine rice. Oh, it's so good. Yum. Then we got a delicious mac and cheese on the side. Came with it. And then the last thing we got was an amazing green curried shrimp over, over a rice. bed of jasmine rice. Yum. I mean, there's literally so much food on our table right now. It really is. I don't even know where to start. I feel guilty. There's so much food. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to eat. But it's insane. So in the words of Walt Disney himself, the way to get started is to stop talking and begin doing. So let's do it. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the... Da -da -da, da -da -da. The mac and cheese. Can I try some? I like mac and cheese. She's not really a big mac and cheese fan. I like it. I mean, I like it. It's just like, well, I'm not like freaking out over mac and cheese all the time. Oh, that's good. It's good. I really like it. Yeah, it's got this like white cheese. And it's so creamy. A little bit of saltiness to it. Yeah, it definitely tastes like white cheese. And it's, um, it's a spiral pasta. Yum, I love it. I kind of I kind of thought the mac and cheese was going to be a throwaway. But it ended up being Same. really nice. good. You could throw like some chicken, maybe some like buffalo chicken in there, or any sort of seasoned chicken. That's a, that's a whole dish right there. It's really good. All right, she's going in for the green curried shrimp. Let's, let's give it a go. Let me see it. What do we got? Is there like a little bit of carrot? Yeah, there's a little carrot yeah, shrimp. Yum. Shrimp and the rice. It looks good. it looks good and it smells good. What's it taste like? Does, does it the taste shrimp curry? Is kind of soury. You don't think it tastes sour at all? I don't know. I don't feel like it. I mean, it tastes kind of like cilantro. I'm getting like cilantro, shrimp, a little bit of rice, maybe a little bit of jasmine. Yeah. I, I, it's pretty good. I mean, there's so much happening in this dish right now. I'm just dying to dig into it. All right. What are you trying? I want to try the potato. Potatoes. Sort of roasted potato there. It's good. Look at this. Look at that Moroccan beef. The Moroccan spiced beef has that same coriander chutney on it. That green chutney that was with the bread. And it's that so flavor. good. Love it. The, be the, the Moroccan beef is really good. It's very tender, very juicy, not overly salty. It's yeah. got that coriander chutney, like green, almost like cilantro y flavor to it. I don't know. It's really good. Ooh, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try the chicken. The oh, split yeah. roasted chicken here. It's like a little mini chicken leg here. The texture of the chicken is so good. 
chicken is good. It's really good. It's almost like a rotisserie. Yeah. Um, it's like really moist. It definitely is like kind of like rotisserie. Yeah, because the, the chicken's really moist and good. I like it a lot. Look at that pork. Man, that looks good. That's good. It definitely is good. I think I might like the pork the best. I feel like the pork is, yeah, same. I love, I think the pork is very well. Really good. Do you agree? Like, I'm going to eat all of it. <laughs> yeah. The pork's a little bit saltier. And I love salty. And it's got a really nice texture to it. It's not like too mushy. It's not too firm. It's not like overly chewy and like hard to eat. Like it's right, perfect right in the middle. Man, it's good. The pork is the best for me. It's the best. It's the best. The beef is good. The chicken is good. But it, but the pork is the standout. The spices, the flavors, the seasonings, the textures, the cook on it. Everything is phenomenal. Yep. The only bad thing about this is that there's ten times too much food for me to eat. Woo! Oh my goodness. The food has been amazing. But now our desserts have finally arrived. We're stopped. And man, I am just, I'm honestly I'm not ready for the dessert desserts, but we're gonna tackle them anyway. Now, let's talk about the first one. The first one she said was a plant-based chocolate mousse slash cake. Check this out. Oh. It's kinda cool. It looks almost like a little volcano. You know what I mean? Like a little like pyramid or volcano with a little bit of like lava down here. I don't know why I'm doing this on my hand, but basically lava. And it looks cute. Um, so we'll try that first. But before I do that, before I forget everything that she told me what was in these, let's just do it. She said a traditional vanilla cupcake with buttercream icing right here. A chocolate, some sort of like chocolate cake with a little yeah. bit of caramel decadence in it. And she said this was some sort of like honey slash honeycomb um, something I can't remember. I already cake. forgot. Cake, custard thing, I don't know. But look, there's like a little bit of honeycomb or something on there. Anyway, I mean, how are you supposed to eat all this? I don't understand. There's only two of us. So it's insane, but we're going to give it a rip. Anyways. Let's try the plant-based chocolate mousse first. I don't really like dark chocolate, but that's dark chocolate. The um, strawberry is so good though. Yeah, it's like a... Dark chocolate pyramid. Yeah, it's like a dark chocolate mousse. It's got these like little dehydrated... I'm, I'm pretty sure, because we were at Hollywood Studios recently, and the dessert we tried had these dehydrated strawberries and mango pieces on them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what these things are. So it's kind of like a dark chocolate mousse with a little bit of fruity flavor with it. So if you like dark chocolate and fruit together, you'll like it. You'll like it. I personally, not my thing. Let's do the lame yeah. cupcake first. It's just a standard buttercream vanilla cupcake. It's not good. Script, no. Kinda. Vanilla cupcake. I'm gonna go ahead and try this next thing. It's kind of hard to cut into. Oh wow, it really is. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like almost like a brownie. Did a you try? Very it? hard stale brownie. It just tastes like a chocolate brownie, honestly. But hard. I mean, it's tough to cut through for sure. But you know, how brownies are kind of like firm and like chewy and hard to cut through. This one was really hard to cut through. It was like. It's like 75% harder to cut through yeah. than a standard brownie. Let's try the honeycomb thing. This is better. Out of the four desserts, the honey one's a little bit better. I definitely taste the honey. Yeah. It's like even the aftertaste is coming through. It's like a, a light like custardy flavor, a little bit of the chocolate cake. Yeah. But really like a strong honey flavor coming through and I love honey. So, so overall the desserts, um, decent but honestly by the time we were done eating the food i i just didn't yeah. care about the desserts anyway yeah uh, we are on our way out of animal kingdom after eating at the delicious tusker house and you can see there's nobody around so this is kind of a cool little experience we get to kind of walk through animal kingdom with nobody in the park it's so cool on our way out we noticed that they're setting up for a wedding right here 
So if you've ever been interested in having a wedding here at Animal Kingdom, they're setting up for one right here. They've got instrumentalists, they set up a stage. How cute is that? Yay, so it was so much fun. I wasn't expecting the tusk grass to be so good. I feel like the food was amazing. Yeah. I know it's normally a buffet, um, and it was family style, so they just kept, they, they give you as much food as you want to, but I didn't need any more food, it was so much food. Same. I wasn't expecting there to be so much food. So much, too much food. I actually. did not expect there to be character interactions, so we could see Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Daisy, which I didn't expect, and so it felt very much like Chef Mickey to me, but I feel like it was better than Chef Mickey from a lunch yeah. and dinner perspective. Oh yeah, for Like sure. Chef Mickey, I love the breakfast there, like I've said. I feel like we may try to go to Tusker House breakfast and see if it's comparable, but I love the breakfast food. But for, for like lunch and dinner, I thought Tusker House was amazing. Oh yeah. I sure. like the pork the most. What did you like the most? Uh, the vegetables and the rice. The vegetables and the rice. I like the pork, she liked the vegetables and the rice. Everything was good though. It was amazing. So I'm looking forward to trying it again, but we had a lot of fun. Wasn't expecting to do this. So I highly recommend Tusker House. And we closed down the park. Like the park is completely closed and yeah. I was not expecting that either. So. Uh, we got a late reservation. It is what it is. So, again, thanks for joining us. Uh, until tomorrow, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.